Well, hello, Sagittarius. It is CJ here. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, welcome back. If you have been here before, I hope you're doing really great, Sagittarius. Thank you for all of your love and your support. Uh, for those of you that are really hanging out here with myself and other Saggies, I hope you're doing great. Um, let's get into your reading. I'm going to try and keep the intro brief, although I have a very difficult time doing that. First, I will admit it. Okay, so Sag, this is going to be a timeless general reading for you, um, meaning it may not resonate with every single one of you out there. It is not a personal one-to-one, -one, right? So I'm reading for the collective. Um, so only take what resonates, leave the rest behind. Um, what else? Let's see. Well, I'm freezing today. It's gotten very, very chilly where I live. Um, so I got my big old sweater on. I hope you're cozy. Maybe grab a cup of tea um, and let's get into your reading. When I was meditating, as I always do on your energy before I even hit record, Sag, it was, um, I got an image of a mask, okay? Um, I don't know what this means other than it happened quite quickly. It was only for a second in my mind's eye when I'm meditating. I usually have my eyes closed. Um, and I just got this, this vision of a mask. Now, it didn't have anything on the mask to, you know, it wasn't like Halloween or dress up or any of that. It felt like mask as in either you or someone around you may be wearing a mask. Um, Again, I didn't get a vibe whether it was good, like positive, or if it was more of a contrast energy. I didn't get that. Um, but when we started, when I started, I should say, well, we, me, we, my, my guides and I, when I started prepping the decks, there was this overall kind of energy coming through that something or some, oh, I'm going to say someone, I got to speak honestly here, someone might not be exactly showing you who they are. Um, again, who knows on what person that might be. We all have so many different relationships, but I felt it important to let you know because often, not always, but often my guides will give me little, little signs when I am working on your energy before I even start to record, okay? So we're gonna open up. Um, they've gotten me to quite a few, so I'm not sure. This might be a long one, I don't know, but we've uh, they've gotten me to open up my beautiful wisdom oracle. They want me to get you a color card, and then I feel they want me to do the moon um, it's a new deck I have, Moonology. Um, so we're going to just go with it, right? I'm just going to obviously let my guides show me the direction they want me to head in. So with that being said, Saji, if you'd like a private reading to go a little deeper or to um, see what might be going on for you, all that information is down below um, and we can schedule something, okay? All right, Saji, I'm going to have a sip of water before we get into this and see what is really going on. All right, let's begin. All right, Spirit, please show me clearly for Sagittarius, for those that this is their reading. What message, ooh, what message do you have? What would you like them to know? All right. Okay, so Sag, we have on the bottom, never ending story. This is number 37. So when you add three and seven, it is a 10 that is a magician, right? It reduces down to one. The underlying energy coming through here is whatever this is about. Doesn't feel very good, gotta be honest here, but they're saying you have power to change this, okay? So this might even just be a confirmation I'm getting here for some of you, that if you are wondering about someone in your life, whether that be romantic or otherwise, um, I would say right at this point, trust your intuition, trust what your inner guidance system is telling you. Um, I'm really feeling that there's something going on here now that might be um, a little painful, okay? That's what I'm gonna say. So we have never ending story. This is the energy saying that something keeps going on and on and on. It hasn't changed. So this could be a relationship that keeps repeating, that the, there's a cycle that keeps going on, um, some issue that keeps coming up, and it is quite depressing and heavy. This could also indicate that there's an actual cycle that you might be attracting these kind of people towards you, that you end up going, ah, oh, damn, I'm in this kind of relationship once again. How did that happen? Um, I've had that happen to me in my life many times, even especially with friends, right? Um, you think that you've you've learned things, you've grown, and then you get into some kind of a friendship, and then before you know it, it reminds you of a friendship that was from the past, and then you're like, oh shit, I don't wanna do this again. It's that kind of energy that's coming through, and because it is on the bottom of the deck, it is quite significant, okay? So never ending story, let me show it to you. Okay, it's followed by imagine. Imagine, I love this card, it is really that energy of being able to dream, um, as the word says, imagine what it is you want in your life, imagining who you want in your life, who you don't want in your life. It really kind of is that ability to push through the boundaries, push through what's going on and focus on what you do want to come in here. Um, and the message in a bottle. Wow. Okay. So you might be receiving some kind of text, some kind of phone call, letter about 
I, I feel this is connected to the mask, Sag. So we're going to get into this. Um, but message in a bottle is just that. It's like receiving some kind of news. Now, not good, not bad, right? But it is, it's number 15. That is a six. Sixes are about a beautiful balance, right? You may be receiving some kind of information. Um, it just feels... I feel like some information that's coming towards you. Again, this could be you finding out some kind of information. I don't know. There's just a heaviness about it. There's a heaviness, okay? So, and we even have thinker next. So this is about contemplating what to do next. What do you want to do? What way do you want to go? Let's get into it before I um, keep talking. Let's see what spirit has for you. All right, let's begin. All right, spirit. Thank you so much for guiding me in this reading. Well, it came back out again. Never ending story. Thank you. So never ending story. I don't believe in coincidence. There is something going on in your life where it feels like a repeat pattern. Bottom of the deck, Sag, we have 42. That is chop wood. So it is a six again. Chop wood is about when you don't know what to do and you don't, um, you don't have all the answers or you might have received the answers, but you don't know how to progress, how to move forward. This is about finding that, that space to allow yourself to really kind of not do very much. Um, it's like when you've had a broken heart, right? When your heart's gotten broken, it's very difficult to continue to function normally, to, you know, um, do all the things that you were doing before the heartbreak, right? So this is the energy of taking a moment and just kind of, I'm trying to think what the word is, trying to not ignore, but almost like press a pause button is what I'm getting here with the chop wood, okay? Um, so that's where we're going to leave it. We do have TikTok, TikTok next, but that's strange because they're saying it is important, but not at this point. So they want me to move this over here. So we're going to do that. Um, TikTok is number 30. That is a three. Threes for me are very much about you, me, all of us being in our own alignment, right? Even if it hurts to get there. And TikTok is saying that there's power in your hands. You have the power to change the outcome or you have also, and or I should say, the power not only to change it, but you have the power to take your integrity, your energy back. I don't know what I'm getting here, but I'm getting not a great feeling. I'm, I've got to be honest with you. Um, so let's just see, we have higher power next. I'm going to leave it like this. Let's go into the secret language of color, see what they have, what advice. Okay, Sag, we have brown on the bottom, establish boundaries. It's number 12 as well, so that's a three. Again, here's a three, your mind, your body, your soul, coming into alignment. Now, Spirit is saying here with this card, you need to really establish your boundaries. And I, I'm feeling this is, it may be more than one person in your life, but specifically I'm feeling there's someone in your circle That I don't know what this is. It's like they're wearing a mask at the same time. There's something repetitive here. So they're asking you to set your boundaries, Sag. Okay. Um, it could be to do with your family because we have watermelon next, which is about connecting with your inner child, healing your inner child. It is number three, too. This is going to be a very interesting reading. Let's see what this is about. All right, show me clearly, please, Spirit. What card, what color card do you have for Sag? Hmm. You know, the energy I'm picking the energy I'm picking up right now, it's almost like there's someone. Thank you, Spirit. I'm like I'm getting a lot of different kind of heavy energy, Sag, and I'm trying to do my best to um, decipher, decipher what they're saying here. It's like something that keeps going round and round, and it's almost like you have to take a step back here. Um, we have build your confidence um, on the bottom, number 35, that is an eight. Eights are about your life path, as far as I'm concerned, as a channeler. So cyan is a color. Um, this could be very beneficial to have around you, to wear, as you're going through whatever this might be. Um, but this is about building your confidence. So not to say you're not confident, Sag, but when we get hit, energetically by something that is quite heavy or devastating, it can really knock our self-confidence, right? Self-confidence. So for example, if you're in a relationship, and I'm just using this as an example, 
if you're in a relationship with someone and maybe it's been long term, but maybe it's been rocky, maybe there's been lies, maybe there's been non-truths, right? The mask that I've seen. Um, you might be in that position where you're like, shit, I don't know what to do about this. My heart's hurting. I don't know if I feel confident enough to stand on my own two feet. I mean, I think every human being has gone through that at some point in their life. Something about building your confidence, but let's see what flipped out. We have mauve, enjoy, clear, hear, hearing. Okay. Number 43, that is a seven. So this is about hearing what someone is saying. Actually, not only hearing the words, but trusting what their actions are showing you. Okay. So not being fooled, not being tricked, listening again to your intuition on whatever this is about, because that is what's going to allow you to make the change. Okay, let's get into the tarot. Before we go any further, I want to get into the tarot and see what this is about for you. Right now, it's a little bit foggy for me, okay? All right, let's open up with the traditional tarot. Let's see what is going on here. Well, we got the seven of pentacles on the bottom. So we have seven here, and now we have seven here. So sevens for me are... Um, well, they have quite a few different meanings, you know, it can be luck, all of that, but here I'm feeling this is contemplation. You're really taking a look at what you've put into this relationship, this situation, whatever this may be, and you're really contemplating. Pentacles is our earth energy, right? So that is all the things that happen here on this planet. The things that we can taste, the people we can touch, you know, um, the things that we can buy. It is about our money, but it is also much deeper than that. It is about our self-worth or self-confidence. Here, I feel like you're contemplating everything that you've put into fill in the blank, and you're really taking a look to see if you're what you want to do moving forward. Interestingly enough, we have the Ace of Pentacles next, oh, and then the Ace of Swords. Okay, so this feels like there's a contemplation here of a new start for you. Now, some of you, this could be about a career move. Um, a lot of you are retired, um, so take it as that may resonate. I mean, there's so many different ways. They're giving me a lot of different things. This could be like, you know, you're retired and you have, maybe you have a nice retirement package or something like that. And then maybe there's people in your life that want to keep taking that from you. Um, I don't, they're giving me many different things. But the Ace of Pentacles is a new beginning. It's a seed that you could take. It's followed by the Ace of Swords, Sag. So now we're, this is the air, right? Um, all about our communication, our thinking, everything that goes on in our mind, our brain how we communicate with everyone else, but the sword is of truth. So I feel like you're getting this big aha moment here in some area, okay? And it's followed by the emperor, which tells me that you're gonna be taking control, that you are gonna be making some kind of decision here. This is Aries card, by the way. So swords, Gemini, Aquarius, and Libra, and um, Pentacles is our earth, so that's Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. You may be dealing with one of those people. Let's get into this, see what's going to come out, um, and I will clarify. Okay, let's begin, please, Spirit. Show me clearly what message do you have? What does Sagittarius need to know for those that this is their reading? Show me clearly, please. Something's falling out, and it feels like it went in reverse. Ah, okay, wow, Sag. We've got the Six of Wands. So again, your energy, Leo and Aries. Six of Wands upright is a beautiful energy of victory. You know, being acknowledged. Get victory, making it to the end, you know, to the end of the struggle. Winning, you know, because this comes after the Five of Wands, which is struggle, arguing, you know, combative energy. But it came out in reverse. So there's something going on here where you are, I feel like you are not feeling very confident in this situation because they are saying that you need to build your beautiful confidence. And Sag, I put my arms around you here with whatever this is regarding. You have to remember to believe in yourself. You are more capable than you can even imagine. You can get through any kind of storm here. So we're gonna clarify what's going on, but I've gotta get some more cards. We've got the Knight of Pentacles on the bottom. A lot of Pentacles showing up here. So the Knight of Pentacles is the slowest one in the deck, right? This is <clears throat> the Knight that is, you know, Knights are the mover, the shakers. They're the ones that are actually taking the action. But this night is a very slow moving night. Um, so there's something you're hesitant about is what I'm getting. There's hesitancy in this reading. We even have the four of pentacles next. 
holding back, holding back your energy. And then the hermit. Okay, we need more. Let's keep going. Show me more, please, Spirit. What's going on for Sagittarius? What is this about here? The beautiful Saggy. What is this never-ending story? And what is going on? Why did you show me the mask? Why did I see that mask? going on here now the deck has gotten really quiet it's almost like yeah went back in it's almost like sag i'm feeling almost like someone is holding some deep secret here and almost like the my tarot deck is almost like not allowing it to come out where the where it stopped as a queen of wands so that's the feminine side of you what is this show me more please Let's get some cards on the table. And if you're new to my channel, Sag, I don't like to pick the cards because I feel like that would be my energy. The Ten of Cups. It didn't fall out, but it was sitting on my finger. So yes, Ten of Cups. There is something here with what was a relationship that was probably... Well, usually the Ten of Cups is, you know, the happy home, happy family, right? Like you and a loved one. There's some battle going on here. There's some battle going on here where truth is not being said, it's not being expressed, and there's something fake or facade going on here. Let's see what, oh my God. Look at where I picked, I picked the deck up. Yeah, we got the Seven of Swords. Now, the Queen of Wands was after that, but I, I don't know how I picked it up. And again, this is how my guides communicate with me. There is someone in your family, in your close circle, in a relationship, romantic or otherwise, that is doing something behind your back. Sag is just all over this here. Seven of Swords is just that. Um, I can read it many different ways. They're giving it to me this specific way. It's not even Seven of Swords, it's Five of Swords. Okay, well, I seen that in my mind's eye, Sag. So again, there is no coincidences here. I was seeing Seven of Swords, which is someone doing something behind your back. It's the Five of Swords, which anyways, is a very kind of heavy energy anyways. This person is trying to win, trying to get all the other swords, wants to defeat everyone else. And we have the Ten of, of Pentacles next, which is telling me again, this is a family, could be inheritance. Someone could be fighting over inheritance, pretending that they are fair and just, but in the meantime, in the background, they're trying to get more than they were left. I'm using these as examples, okay? Because there's energy coming through that is, is I, don't, I don't love it. Um, let's continue. Let's get another card out here, please, Spirit. Can you go more? Give me more. What's going on here? Okay, wow. Three, three cards, okay. Got the Empress on the bottom. So that's Taurus's energy. This energy is a beautiful energy of abundance, of love, of nurturing. You know, she's the mother of the tarot. This could be indicating that you need to make sure you're taking great care of yourself. Could also be indicating that if this is some kind of a, a breakdown in a relationship where there's secrets being held or there's someone wearing a mask, that at the end of it, it is going to be, benefit you. Now we got the seven of wands, keeping yourself protected. And the justice card, Libra's card, everything getting balanced out, the truth being shared, the, the truth being exposed. And then that, you know, justice of whoever was did the wrong thing they will be held accountable and we have the ten of wands holy shit this is like heavy 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 crap heavy stuff that you've been dealing with four of swords you know resting trying to take a break after the battle after the heartbreak let's see what what came out here we got judgment staring me right in the face Major Arcana, right? Judgment, when that shows up, it can represent, you know, you really making it out of those ashes because something about this reading is making me feel like you probably have felt really heavy, Sag. And it has not been easy. My love, not at all. And so if you look at the judgment card, it's like these people are basically almost dead, right? Standing in what kind of looks like coffins. But the trump is being blown, trumpet is being blown. And they're rising up out of the ashes. 
This is a very strong divine card, you know, God, source, whatever you believe in, protecting you and watching out for you. And a decision. You know, the judgment, once it comes out, it usually means some decision that you make that will be life-changing. You won't be able to go back and change it. Let's see what else is here. We've got this Page of Swords, Six of Pentacles, and the Strength card. Wow. So Page of Swords. Pages are the beginners, but here's the thing. The pages, Page of Swords for me right now is representing communication. Some kind of communication that's coming in that that truly could very much hurt. Six of Pentacles next, man. That's like so wild. I'm almost getting, I'm getting pressure in my forehead, right kind of where my third eye is right now. So some of this, whatever this is that it is for you, if it's your reading, Sag, it's not going to be for everyone. There is, there is a lot of pressure um, that you've been experiencing. You know, the Six of Pentacles is usually a beautiful energy of equal exchange, right? But there's something here not feeling right to me. There's just something not feeling quite right. It's like, you know, someone's giving all the money to this person, yet this person isn't receiving anything. I don't know why they're giving this to me, but they are. And then you have the Strength card, another major arcana. It is Leo's card. You are dealing with something here that feels painful. Okay, Sag, we're gonna move into another deck. I'm gonna get some clarifiers, but it's almost like they're wanting me to set, share all of this before we talk about the TikTok. Very interesting. Okay, Spirit, well, let's go into the fountain deck then. Let's see. Oh my goodness, okay. So we got the Three of Swords, Sag, on the bottom. Oh. We got the Three of Swords and it is sitting on top of the Ten of Cups. So Ten of Cups twice, King of Coins next. So the way I feel here that there has definitely been a breakdown in some kind of pretty important relationship, right? It at one time felt really great, now heart broke, heartbroken. You could be dealing with an earth sign for sure because the King of Coins is here. You know, so again, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. So yeah, most likely you're probably dealing with an earth sign. Doesn't have to be, but it is followed by the two of cups, which would be my, you know, the card that is two people that are really meant to be together, or at least at the time they were meant to be together. Again, this could be a friendship, you know, could be. But definitely you've had your heart broken and you're struggling. You're struggling to get through this, but you know that you are going to get through this. Again, the Empress, right? You will heal and you will you will get back your strength. Let's start with the five or the six of wands in reverse spirit. Why is this six of wands here? What was I saying before about the five of swords and I thought it was the seven of swords? Well the seven of swords just dropped out. So <clears throat> someone in your life, Sagittarius, has been really uh, I don't like that energy at all. They're trying to take, okay, from you. The mask, okay? They're, I'm get, seeing it again in my mind's eye. Someone, and I, trust your intuition. If this is your reading, because like I said, it cannot be for everyone. But if this is your reading, and this is making sense to you at this time, and you're going, oh yeah, I've been suspecting. I've been wondering. This is your reading. This is your confirmation. Someone, you are completely correct, okay? The two of pentacles on the bottom, so someone's juggling juggling the truth, jugg no, jugg okay, thank you, spirit, juggling lies, juggling lies, and the fountain shows up just in time to say, no, everything gets up, everything, they're giving me a saying about the washing machine, everything comes out in the wash, thank you, spirit, okay, so, seven of swords, that is what has happened, is you can feel it, and your energetic energy is probably being drained here, too, because when we love someone, I'm using this, right? If you, When we love someone, we want to see the very best in them. Even if they show us time and time again that they're doing negative things, they're doing painful things. When you really love someone, it's not as easy to accept. And I'm, again, this is not going to be for all of you that have, haven't gone through this, right? That have gone through it and you made it to the other side. I understand that. That's why they're saying clear hearing. You need to hear very clearly. And and what is being said is often 
shown and expressed more through actions and the energy that you're picking up than what the words are. Words are easy, right? Words are very easy to say. And if you are someone or there is someone in your life that is like the seven of swords, that is the three of swords, like because that can be third party situations and all of that, you know, they're more, they're get, they, they are able to do that. They're able to manipulate the words. They're able to maneuver their words. Kind of, you think a little bit of a narcissist energy, right? Gaslighting energy. It is done with some intent. Okay, let's continue. So the Ten of Cups, obviously that is, it feels like this would be someone that would be very close to you. Thank you, Spirit. Yeah, the world, Major Arcana. So this Ten of Cups, it's over. It's, there's, it's, it's finished. It needs to finish if it isn't. The world is representing closing this out. A cycle needs to end now. Okay, the cycle needs to end. Again, that's why they're wanting you to just really see you for who you are, and I'm sure you do. Uh, at the same time, just know that they're supporting you. Your angels, your guides, you know, they're around you, and they're wanting you to make this shift. Okay, let's continue. Yeah, I say make the shift. Six of swords on the bottom. They want you to move somewhere that's going to be better for you with better with the person a person that is going to be better for you or on your own but to leave the shit behind Sag. okay wow they're really giving the picture here all right spirit what about page of swords what's coming through with the page of swords because judgment is just telling me that you're going to make it through here and you are going to rise up Sag. you're going to rise up yeah, there's, if this is about love, romantic especially, but it can be for everything else too. But we have the Page of Cups on the bottom. I haven't even looked at these cards yet. This is saying that there's someone, if this is what you're wanting, there would be someone that is going to really love you and honestly give you their heart. Okay, Page of Cups. Um, oh, hold on. They're giving me something different here. Okay, thank you, Spirit. Page of Cups for the Page of Swords. They literally just took that what I just said out, which it would be true, but at the same time, they're going back to this other person. This person, Page of Swords, Page of Cups, wow. I think they like to uh, play around, so this could be representing a player energy. They like the idea, thank you, they're giving me a lot of energy here. The, this other person that is keeping the secrets, that is wearing the mask, that is trying to be sneaky. They like the beginning parts of, um, how, can, how do I put this? You know, they don't commit with their heart because they kind of are addicted to, I wouldn't be surprised if the devil card came out, addicted to that, you know, uh, feeling really important. So if you're in a relationship with this person, they're, they always want something new, something new, something new is what they're giving me here. And we even have the Hermit next, which again, this is Virgo's card, you know, they like to stay single. They like to be on their own. If this is making sense to you, it's making sense to me. I'm getting what Spirit is saying. And then we have the Star, which is about the healing, you know, <clears throat> your, your healing. Okay, what do we have here? The Nine of Wands and the Fool. Wounded warrior, but fighting, you fighting, meaning like you really standing in your strength and your integrity and knowing that, you know, you are going to make it through this and probably calling, calling this out, Sag, and it allows you to have a new beginning here, the fool. So we have the world, which is the last major arcana in the tarot, and then we have the fool, which is the first. Let's go a little bit more here. All right, Spirit. Six of Pentacles in the Strength card. What would you like Sagittarius to know about this? That it may take strength. Obviously, you know, if you're going through a broken heart here or some betrayal of some kind, um, it obviously is you're going to have to dig deep, especially if this person meant a lot to you, which I suspect for some of you it, they did, you know, especially with that Ten of Cups showing up and the Ten of Pentacles, but the Ten of Cups showed up twice. It's on the bottom. Yeah, we have the tower. 
So the tower, you know, this is um, a painful, feels painful, but necessary breakdown because it wasn't built on solid foundation. I think there's a player in the mix. And again, if this is about like, this doesn't have to be the romantic avenue, but you'll know what I'm talking about if this is your reading. So the tower, and then once again, the empress, all about taking care of you and knowing that you will receive the blessings and the support. And that, there's that devil. I said it, the devil. This page of swords, page of cups that showed up, they feel much more like a player, okay? All right, spirit. Oh, wow. So the devil, Capricorn energy, addicted to wanting to be, addicted to wanting to feel charming, addicted to kind of like, you know, oh, like it's just someone that gets bored in a relationship if this is romantic and they get bored quite quickly because there is something lacking here. And I feel like you, this might not even be the first time that you've experienced it with this person. Okay. They're giving me the chop wood patience is what they're saying. Patience. It all is going to come out in the wash. Keep repeating things. Okay. Is there anything for the six of pentacles and the strength card spirit? Thank you so much. Is there anything else you would like Sag to know? They didn't come out. Okay. Okay. What's going on here? These cards didn't come out. They flipped. Two of cups. Again. What would you like Sagittarius to, to know? I almost feel like this is moving forward, Sag. I, and, you know, I don't always get this. I don't always read past, present, future. You know, it depends on how my guys guide me. <clears throat> but this feels, <clears throat> it's transitional. It's like finding out what you already probably know. Because you're very intuitive. And trusting that. And having the patience. And working on yourself. Allowing this to close out being very divinely supported and then you know also this new beginning that brings this balance into your life okay so this feels like moving forward can you show me more please spirit thank you yeah the magician on the bottom well look at this the magician on the bottom we got the page of swords with the three of swords once again and then the knight of cups Um, how can I hold this? Well, let's see. So the Page of Swords, now we've got that twice. So there's that communication. And it also can represent, Sag, that this other person, that they feel like they have a lot of offers, a lot of opportunities, and they, I don't know, it just feels very fleety kind of energy. With the Three of Swords in between, and then the Knight of Cups there, I just don't think, I think this person is addicted to being a player, Okay. That's really what I feel. I feel like they're addicted to being a player and I think it is probably the best thing for you. Obviously, you have free will, my love. But obviously, it's time for you to put yourself first. That's why the Empress keeps showing up. Male, female, doesn't matter. We all have masculine and feminine. It's because it is time for you to heal. It's time for you to move on. You do deserve better than this. The magician on the bottom is definitely saying you have that power to be able to move forward and to cut this off. I do feel there's an ending here. There is an ending that is coming to a close. We have the star next again, yep. And this is healing, right? The star is Aquarius's energy. It is like being able to heal and be feel renewed. And sometimes it can even be about forgiveness, right? Now, not everyone likes that word forgiveness, it can't, you know? But we forgive for us, not for the other person. And the other person doesn't even need to know, right? So that we can move forward. And once again, we have that two of cups. So this has showed up, what, three times already? I think for the most part of you guys, this is about a relationship that you were in. Might even still be in. Okay. I'm going to go one more time out of this deck and see if there's anything else. Then we're going to talk about the TikTok and see where spirit leads us there. Is there anything else you want Saji to know? You are going to move forward and you will find a balance here. Um, if that is something that you want in your life as you move forward, not everyone wants to have a romantic relationship, right? Not every, This could be a friendship. But all I'm saying is that for this, it feels that there is definitely someone that is wearing that mask. So now I understand why they gave it to me. Is there any final message you have out of the tarot spirit that you would like Sagittarius to know? Wow. Anything else? Mm 
Anything else? I'll go three more times. Okay, something flipped here. There we go. The Seven of Wands, once again, Sagittarius. So this is about keeping yourself protected here. Really closing it up and protecting yourself because you matter here. I just think this other person is just, I feel it's only one, but if you look at, look at how these cards are. We've got the star once again. We've got the Ace of Cups here. We've got the Tower, we've got the Empress, and we've got the Magician. Very powerful here. You deserve better than this. You deserve better than this person. Again, I don't know how this is. They're giving me a lot. This could be a family member. Um, but however it is, it is about protecting yourself here. Seven of Swords, you be the Seven of Wands. Okay, Spirit, thank you. Okay, let's talk about the TikTok. So here we go. And the TikTok, this is you have more power than you know. You have a lot more power that you can take. And it is about you then, once you get through this, taking that power back. Higher power is next. This is all about what you believe in, trusting in it. You know, it's a number four, so it is a solid foundation that you can rely on and know that it will support you. But trust, I know we go through things in this lifetime that are very difficult. There's usually a reason for it, even if we cannot see it at this moment. And if you need help, there's a community here. I'm just telling you, Sag, there is some, we got all that glitters next, so there's that mask. There's a community here that around you. You have us here to support you <coughs> and to remind you of your worth. This never-ending story has got to end. Um, and just trust and know that. Because we do have, and this doesn't come out all the time, all that glitters. So here it is. All that glitters means what you see is not real. You know, it looks like gold, but it's fake gold. Okay. This is where we're going to leave this spirit. Okay. Thank you. Saji, I love you. And I, if you're going through this, my dear, like just stay strong. And remember, you deserve better than that. There is someone in the mix here that is false and wearing falseness and giving you breadcrumbs. It really is time to change this. Not easy, but you can do it and you will do it if this is what you want. Because there's a new beginning waiting for you. I do want to go to the Moonology. I mean, this is um, a lot of energy, but I want to see what, what is here. The Falling Moon Release Blocks. Release Blocks. So whatever you need to do, again, that whole build your confidence thing, Sag. Again, I'm not saying you're not confident. You are. But when we've been dealt a pretty shitty hand, it can really make us stumble. And it can be very hard to see in front. Start with releasing your fears, releasing the blocks, and letting them go. All right, Spirit, is there anything that you have out of this Moonology deck that you would like Sagittarius to know? I really love giving these kind of readings because I've been here many times in my life and I know how painful it is. I know how hard it is. But you will get to the other side. And, you know, sometimes we go through these things, not even for, maybe we don't have to learn anything, but maybe the other person has to. And we're the, you know, we're that symbol of what they need to learn. Where I stop, we have avoid drama, which is the moon madness. Okay. Is there anything, Spirit, that you have for Sagittarius? These cards are getting really weird again. Sticky. Any final message? Okay, we're going to go three more times. I think it was just the bottom, Sag, of releasing the blockages. And one, two, deck is chaotic. Oh, three, okay. We have Yang Moon. So this is more of the masculine energy. This is about the action, right? Remember, TikTok is action too. Strength. Okay, so you have the strength card twice. Time to take the action that you need to take so that you can feel the sun again and you can feel the joy again and remove this energy out of your life one way or the other. And Sag, we have truth. And I swear you guys just had this not that long ago. The moon rising. I might be wrong. But again, it's truth. So the truth is going to be coming out here. And you're going to rise and 
move away from it. It's what I feel. Okay. Wow. <laughs> and oh my goodness. You got the higher power too. That was under truth. So you have the higher power here. Without a doubt, they're coming through. You're, like I said, all what you believe in, they are, you are not alone and they are watching over you. This is the moon goddess, by the way, the card. Do what is right for you now. You deserve this. And whoever this other person is, oh man. If there's something better, there's someone better out there for you, Sag. Okay. All right, Saggy, we're going to close this off. I do want to go to treasures. Let's see what final message spirit can get for you. I do hope that this helped in whatever way. I hope if it was a confirmation that you needed, I hope that this reading gave it to you. Whew, okay. So we bought listening on the bottom. Let me, let me read it. Now is the time to listen to your intuition. Slow down and quiet the mind chatter. Listen to your own words and ensure you are using positive language. When you hear others, make sure you really listen to what is being said. And remember to listen to more than just the words. Holy cow. I can't make this up, Sag. Listen to your world with your heart. Okay. Major confirmation for me that I was picking up on the right energy here that was coming in. The next one we have is respect. And Sag, this is where it does come down. Yeah, I know you respect yourself. Respect yourself and stand your ground here and do not let anyone disrespect you moving forward. Okay. All right, Spirit. Is there anything else you have? Beautiful Sagittarius, for those that this is their reading. Any final message? Ooh. That, uh, no, we're not taking those. I don't, well, okay, maybe we are. I'm not going to fight it. I know, I know. Okay, I've done that before and I always screw up, so I'm not going to do that. We have stillness on the bottom. Well, listen, we got listening again. We have respect again, and then we have commitment. So, Sag... Because sometimes I, 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 even though I'm in chat, I'm channeling, right? My logic is in the back of my head. So I'm not relying on that. There's still the human, you know, oh, did I just drop those? No, this is meant to be. So we're going to read these. So I read listening. We're going to get respect. And you see, and I shuffled. A sense of reverence surrounding your being creates flow with every thought or action. Honor yourself and respect the needs. And whatever needs, to, whatever needs to be achieved can be done with your dignity. So this is about allowing yourself to shine brightly with your pride. Respect yourself. And then we have commitment. <sighs> commitment to yourself will create all you need to learn and grow. Actively involve yourself in your world. Be a participant rather than a spect spectator. Life is for living, loving, and experience. Once you make any commitment, follow it through with the integrity you deserve. You see, there's all of these three cards. It's all about really respecting yourself and putting your foot down. Remember, set those boundaries. Even moving forward, set those boundaries. Okay, so then bottom, we have stillness. Take time to be still to appreciate the beauty in every moment. Quiet your busy mind and allow the still softness of peace to envelop you. Do not rush into anything. Ah, that goes with the chopped wood, right? But sit meditatively, and in this stillness, your answer may be found. You know what's interesting? This reminds me of sitting kind of in a yoga pose here, sitting meditatively, right? Okay. Um, to attain what has eluded you, be still and allow it to land upon yourself. As a feather would gently float into your hand, so do your wishes descend upon you. Okay, so obviously they are saying don't rush this. But when you are ready, that's when you take the action. The action that is going to be good for you. Okay, commit to yourself, Sagi, here. All right. All right, Sag, again, um, let me know if this resonated with you. I would I really appreciate hearing it. I know this was a tough reading. Um, again, it may not be about romantic. It could be about who knows. It could be about any of this. But if it resonates with you, it's probably your reading. Um, again, I truly hope it helped you. Thank you for being here, Saji. I'm going to let you go now. I send you huge hugs and as always kisses. I don't think there's enough love in this world to go around. So mwah, mwah, mwah. big, 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 big hugs. Hope you can feel it. Sending you all my love and um, healing energy here. Okay, you've got this. All right, Saji, take care of yourself.